Hello everybody, Johnny Kaplan here with another Gadget Flow unboxing segment in partnership with the Corey Group, an award-winning crowdfunding agency. Today's exciting new product, you might have noticed it here on my hand, I'm actually wearing it. Now this is the Pirro wearable device. Um, this actually coordinates with your laptop, with your uh, mobile phone, with your iPad, uh, with your TV, with lots of other devices, and allows you to use hand gestures, um, which often we know is called haptics, the, the, the ability to move your arms, to move your limbs, and interact with an electronic device. And we're gonna show you exactly how that works today. So I've got one on the table here. I've got this one, I'm wearing it. It's actually quite comfortable, so I'm gonna leave it on one hand. And I've got this other one, which I can show you here in front of me. Um, so as you see, it's this, uh, it's sort of like a silicon band. Um, it fits onto any size hand. Uh, it's got this special patented uh, design here that allows it to stretch very easily uh, to put on the hand. I'll put it on my other hand here. You can see you can wear two of them if you wanted to. It's a unisex design and it's got a series of buttons on it. And this is really what you want to uh, take note of. So as you wear it on your hand, there is a thumb button here. There is a click in there. Uh, you can feel it. Um, this is actually what activates uh, one of the commands. It has a gyroscope inside of it, and that's how it determines the range of movement that you're using. And that gyro sensor will determine whether you're doing this or turning around or moving left or right. And as you move, the gyroscope inside will adjust and it will identify the sort of movement you've done. Now it's doing all of that in a microsecond, right? You're not even gonna notice. Now on the underside, um, it has a uh, fingertip sensor on your palm of your hand here. As you lay any combination of fingertips on the palm sensor here, um, it will actually track which finger you've used and then whatever you've locked that button and that command into is what it will do. So, um, you know, it's very intuitive and it's very, very easy to use. And I think that's one of the main things, uh, you know, with new technology, with new devices is how easy is it to set up how easy is it to configure it and, and to actually use it? So um, what's great about this, it's Bluetooth connection. Uh, you switch it on via this uh, switch at the back. Uh, the LED light pops on. Uh, you can tell that you're using it. You can actually touch, there are buttons here on either side um, of the LED switch here, which you can actually click to connect with your uh, Bluetooth device. It's made out of this silicon material to ensure if you, know, you have sweaty palms or you spill a drink on it, that it's protected and it will work in any environment. The reason the makers created this device is because we're always out and about uh, on our laptops, um, you know, in a, on a train, on a bus, uh, traveling, and often it's very hard with this mouse trackpad to really uh, activate all of the controls that a computer is capable of. I really love the scrolling. Now, this is something I do reading a lot of news sites, reading a lot about technology and gadgets, and they have these long pages, and I always seem to be, uh, uh, this movement, my finger seems to hurt from always direct, you know, pressing this, uh, the scroll button on the mouse the whole time. What I love about the Pirro um, is that you can just sort of click this button on the side, you're locked into the mouse of your computer. So if I wanna go left or right, the mouse cursor is working with me left or right. If I wanna flip screen, I simply go like that and it's flipping screen for me, which is, it's so easy. I'm left-handed, so I'm generally using the the mouse in my left hand, and I'm using Pyro in my right hand. And this is a multi-coordinated control of my computer. It really brings up my efficiency levels. Now you can actually lock all of the commands of Pyro into your mouse. So if you want to just have a two finger click for a right click or a, a one finger click, that could be your mouse right click. You could have scrolling by turning your wrist. I mean, all of these things are uh, customizable and they allow you via their software application to actually change it to whatever suits your purpose. Also, imagine playing the game Fruit Ninja, for instance, which is, you know, you'll have to swipe and cut all those fruit. Well, this is very easy. I mean, you've got the sword in your hand. You click, it's much easier than sort of trying to swipe on a screen. So, um, you know, that movement compared to just sh 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 seems much easier, right? Also, if you're a graphic artist, a graphic designer, uh, you may be using Adobe software or programs, and you've got a whole range of tools, you've got palettes all over the place. 
often the mouse just isn't sufficient to do all of the things you need. So the Pero gives you that added ability, extra functionality, using another hand, and at the same time, whilst you're using the mouse and you're using the wearable device, you're able to interact with the tools and the functions in a much faster, more uh, efficient manner. It has an IMU sensor inside that actually senses the hand gestures and the movements you're making. In microseconds, makes that transaction inside to the device, sends it to the other device you're using, and you know, you're working seamlessly in real time. What I heard from the manufacturers is they're actually developing this device that you will be able to connect it to your drone. So I'd be very excited to see more wearable devices like the Pero that, uh, that connects into your drone, um, that allows you to sort of stick your hand out and, you know, move direction and fly up and down. It's just so futuristic. This device reminds me of Minority Report, Tom Cruise, uh, with all the futuristic technology, he'd be swiping his AR and, you know, we looked at it and said, wow, that stuff's so futuristic. I'd love to have uh, devices that work with hand gestures and moving like that. Well, here you are, guys. It's extremely affordable. Uh, it retails for just under $80. That's $79.95. Um, now, a lot of these wearable devices are actually quite expensive. Um, they range from up to $800 for each device. $800 for an additional device to control your TV or, or laptop is a, is a fairly hefty uh, price tag. So $80 is a, a perfect price. So guys, there you have it. The Pero device by Palmcat. I think it's very affordable. I think it's usable. It fits to anybody's size hand. Um, and I think it's very futuristic. You're gonna enjoy standing there, looking at the TV, pointing with your hand. It allows you to do whatever you wanna do um, and have this functionality with you at the touch of a finger. Great device. I love wearable technology. See you next time, guys.